Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's Dissonance here, and I'm happy to have you back with me. This is the seventh episode now in our Minecraft Let's Play series. I've been doing a little bit of work off camera, so I have a few updates we'll go over first, and a few special treats in today's episode. So first update, we are here down in the enchanting area. I have gotten a little bit of work done. Uh, of course, we got our skeleton spawner all set up last time, so it's giving us experience. And I have gone ahead and enchanted a couple of diamond pickaxes here. So we can see we've got a uh, fortune 3 on breaking 3 and an efficiency 4 on breaking 3. Um, and we have done a little bit of mining with all of this, so we have a few more diamonds as well. We'll get to that in a little bit. Now, for the first one of our special treats, you know, we haven't been sleeping all that great. We've been living out here in a little dirt hut out in the swamp, um, just trying to trying to survive the nights and, and make our way in this Minecraft world. I think we're finally at a place where we're pretty stable. And uh, you know what? We're just going to get a nice, long eight hours, full night of rest. Sleep is very important, ladies and gentlemen. Please make sure you're getting plenty of it. And uh, I'll show you why it matters so much in just a moment. Ah, sweet dreams. Oh, what a restful night of sleep and a beautiful sunrise on our Minecraft morning. Wow, what a difference getting a full eight hours of sleep does for us. Look at this. We're seeing clearly the world is beautiful. Wow, I don't remember this farm ever looking so gorgeous. Oh. And these wonderful leaves blowing in the wind. And of course we have our cows. Um, I did get some sheep here together off camera. Uh, we will be needing a little bit of wool, so. We'll just go ahead and maintain that farm and ah, look at this. Beautiful sunrise over the Minecraft village. Let's just let's just enjoy that for a moment. Of course, I'm just kidding, ladies and gentlemen. It's not an eight hours Minecraft sleep that lets me do this. Uh, I did go ahead and download some shaders and configure them a little bit, so I think I'll be using these throughout the rest of the Let's Play. If you don't like them, let me know in the comments down below, but I think this is a pretty good set. It doesn't um, over-dramatize anything too, too much. I know some, the, the colors get absolutely insane, and it really changes a lot of the textures, uh, but I think the ones that I have found and the way I've set it up keep the textures um, pretty vanilla. It just really, really um, beautifies the water and gives um, a little bit more to the, the ambiance here, and I love the way the leaves look as well. So I think I, I will be sticking with these. Hopefully you enjoy the new scenery as well. So if you missed it last time, uh, this is our right now very humble skeleton experience farm. Uh, we are going to do a little bit of work down here today. This is this is just it's tiny, it's it's a mess, it's it's just awful. Um, so we are definitely going to go through and upgrade this. So first thing I'm going to do is make a little space, and then we will get to the decorating after that. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Alright ladies and gentlemen, I just heard so many zombies over this way, I could not possibly ignore it. It was crazy the amount that I was hearing. So, uh, we're going to investigate a little bit and maybe clear this up if it's a spot where a lot of mobs are going to spawn. Because uh, that might get in the way of our skeleton spawning actually. So, let's check it out and uh, do a little bit of uh, cave lighting. Just want to make sure I don't get completely overwhelmed as soon as I step out. Oh, maybe there's a spawner over here, actually. There's so many. Nope, just a little cave. Dissonance, do you really need all of this coal? I mean, you have so much. And my answer is, it's really just, it's hard to not mine stuff when it's just there, calling you. The blocks, they call. Eventually we'll get some sort of auto system so we can make tons and tons of charcoal without having to worry about anything. Uh, but tree farms are actually pretty, pretty tough to make fully automatic, so we're a ways off from that. Alright, <clears throat> let's uh, just make sure we... Light this up, block it off, and we are done with that little segment. Alright, not much prettier, but at least we have a little space to work with now. Next up, we are going to need to get some carpets, and I'm working on collecting bone blocks as well. We're up to a stack and one, and I think I'm going to put some coal blocks together. We're going to try decorating the walls with uh, bone and coal, and then we'll have black and white carpets on the floor, see how the whole place looks. Uh, we'll go for kind of like a, a um, black and white checkered pattern in here. Perhaps we'll add some columns as well. We'll see. A big part of Minecraft is collecting resources, and often that means waiting for farms and things. So we do have a couple projects that will be going on at once here. Uh, for something that I don't want to spoil yet, I'm going to need some spruce wood. I just love building the spruce wood in general. Uh, so we need to take down these oak trees and move on to some spruce trees, get those growing here. And of course I will be working with the sheep over there because we do need more, uh, a lot more carpeting for the interior of that skeleton experience farm. So we will be working on that for a little bit. Let's get started.
Ah, another beautiful day on the farms here. And, if everything went according to plan, you just watched, that's right, our very first time lapse uh, from a far out third person point of view. So hopefully that experiment worked. Again, I'm trying to uh, really up my game with every uh, episode that I put out. Hopefully I can always do something new in the recording quality for you. And uh, we'll see how that one turned out. So, quick couple comments about what you just watched. Uh, first, we took down all of the oak trees here, of course, and I uh, sheared a ton of the leaves, so hopefully I will have enough oak leaves for some decorating later on. They make excellent bushes around our builds. Um, in between... In between gathering the wood, of course, I keep coming over here to shear our sheep. We should have tons and tons and tons of carpets now. Uh, hopefully enough to go back and finish decorating our skeleton spawning area. And uh, the uh, spruce trees, I went and got a couple of saplings, and the nice thing about these is that if you plant them four together, like you saw multiple times, they grow into a mega tree, right? It's uh, four thick and qu really quite tall. Uh, you can go up to the top and just uh, cut your way down to the bottom and gives about, uh, I'd say about a stack and a half or so each time. So now we have a good supply of spruce logs that we can use for our builds. I love building with spruce. I think it's just uh, probably my favorite type of wood. It, it mixes so well with a lot of the stone, which is so common. Uh, the, the darkness just gives a nice uh, popping contrast to all of the gray. I find a dark oak to be just a little too dark and heavy for the builds, so spruce is usually my go-to. Other than that, I was occasionally tending to our little farm over here. I have set up just a little automatic composting system. So uh, as I get too many seeds, I will drop them in the top hopper. It'll go through and give us some bone meal here, which we can use for the, uh, the tree growth. That's how I was speeding that up a little bit. So we are back down here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, put all the carpeting in, see how it looks. All right, and there we go. We have the bottom of our skeleton spawner floor. Uh, I really like this, actually. It's... Uh, much more enjoyable than just kind of mixed uh, mixed stone that we had down here, so I will take it. Uh, next up, we need to work on the walls. I was going to use a mixture of bone, uh, bone block and coal. I am realizing now that is going to take an insane amount of coal, so we might take a look at how the black wool looks next to the bone blocks. Let's uh, gather up a little more black wool and we'll give it a try. And here's something you don't get to see very often. The uh, Minecraft Knight now with the new shaders. We're just going to keep running because we do have some zombies following us, but man oh man do I love the sky, I love the clouds here. And it's just such a nice soft light blue color. Get out of my bed, I need to sleep. Alright alright, so we don't have a ton of black wool, but we have enough to at least uh, put it in the wall and see if we like the design. So we'll go check it out. Playing Minecraft in third person is weird, isn't it? So I actually have two different things in mind. We're going to check out both of them. One is we could do this small checkered pattern where it goes back and forth every one. Or we could try doing some larger squares. So uh, four blocks by another four blocks and uh, see how that looks together. We'll try each. Okay, so here's design number one. Not bad. It pretty much matches the floor. Uh, it is a slightly different color, but uh, I don't mind it actually. And let's take a look at how the larger squares work together. Alright, and here's a look at the larger one. Now, I would have to do something along the top here, because uh, just because of the size and shaping of this. Uh, but uh, yeah, these are the larger squares next to each other. So, let me know down in the comments below if you like option one, which was this smaller checkered pattern to match the floor, or if you like option two, which is the large 2x2 two two checkered pattern that would surround the room, and we'll figure out something to do along the top as a border. Okay, option one, option two, option one, option two. Make sure that you vote below, and uh, I might go with the greatest votes, but I also might just go with uh, what I like the best. I think I have in mind which one I prefer, but if, uh, but if not people like the opposite one, then I will go with that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to call that an episode here. Bit of a mini episode, but I wanted to introduce you to the new shaders, try out for the very first time one of our third person time lapses, and uh, just start grinding out a few resources to finish up some projects and prepare ourselves for some upcoming projects. So, next time we will finish up this room here, and I also think it's about time that we upgraded our house. 
time to move out of our dirt hut into something a little bit more cozy, a little bit more solid, structurally sound. So I hope that you're looking forward to that. Uh, we also still don't have a full set of diamond gear yet. We actually have enough diamonds to craft it, but we will probably be doing that in the future and looking for some good enchantments. Maybe I'll be making a villager trading hall soon in order to do that, but you'll have to tune in next time to find out. This is Dissonance, signing off.